All right, my friends, so welcome to lesson two, part two, where we need to build the cuboid and the ultrasonic extension. So I've got my ultrasonic sensor here. Here's my driving base from lesson one. We're going to go ahead and build this now. And I'm going to keep the instructions just down here in the corner, um, just so it's pretty straightforward for you to follow along. But that way, as you're watching me build, you can kind of see what step I'm on if you need to coordinate. So I'm going to start with the cuboid here because uh, it's really easy to build. And I've got my parts. And this is just going to be the object that we're going to be using for our robot to detect and eventually pick up and do lots of other things. So it's a pretty versatile object that you can build right with your kit. So in order to get started, we need one of these open frames. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that now. And we're going to need these blue connector pins with the one length on one side, the two length on the other. And it looks like we need eight of those. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those. And we're adding the one length to it here. So we're just going to line this up. Okay, now we're just going to add all our color 1 by 3 beams. So, two yellow here, we'll go right on these guys. And they just kind of slide on here. You can see there. All right, looks like we've got blue next to the yellow. We'll go ahead and slide those on. And then we've got uh, red. And then last but not least, we've got green. So here's how it should look so far. Pretty straightforward. Your open frame with the color pieces. And then you can probably imagine, we're just going to add a top to that. So we're going to go ahead and just get our four black connector pins. Stick those in the middle pinhole. All right. In good shape there. You can see that. Taking shape. Nice, nice. And then it looks like we're going to add another open frame with eight of the black pin connectors. I'm going to go ahead and just put these on real quick. I know you can't see it. But while we're doing this, you know, you can start to think about what other kind of objects and things your robot could pick. A, a cool classroom challenge or team challenge is to have them build some of these other objects and if you have old FLL boards, you can repurpose a lot of those challenges and use those as, you know, objects and obstacles that you could do in your classroom or for practice. So I've got my piece right here, and then you can probably imagine we got one more to clip on, one color of each. So I will go ahead and do that here real quick. So, we've got, uh, I like to line it up with the same angle as the instructions. We got yellow, we got blue, we got our red, and we've got our green. And then they just stack together.
I'm going to put them together. It's kind of like bringing together an Oreo. Okay, where the filling's the best. In this case, the color is the best. And there you go. The cuboid is done. So there that is. Go ahead and check the next video if you would like to follow along with how to build the ultrasonic extension. All right, my friends. Stay awesome. Peace. I'm <laughs> gonna